Hi, welcome to DB Handmaids. My name is Danielle, and today we're going to explore uh, what it's like to make a crocheted sea turtle. I have a free patterns here, one that looks, well, I can't really say it looks like a traditional turtle, but I would say fits more the parameters <laughs> of a traditional looking turtle um, while still being very cute. And it just made me smile, so I'm like, that just means that I gotta make it. <laughs> I am making the turtles from free patterns that I found. They're not my own design. I will be linking those uh, patterns in the description box below so that you can crochet with me these cute little turtles. And I'm actually also going to provide links for all of the materials that I use today or that I recommend using in making these turtles. Now I will make a small commission off of these links. So there is, uh, so if you want to support my channel, go ahead and use the links down below, but no obligation at all. They're just there for you as a resource. With that out of the way, let's make some really cute turtles. Ah! <laughs> the sea turtle pattern that I will be using is from a creator named Fur A Cro Fira Fira Crochets F I R A Crochets. Again, it'll be in the <laughs> in the description. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that, but again, I'm so excited. Ooh, it includes abbreviations so that if anyone is new to or is unfamiliar with how this person refers to a single crochet, they know that a single crochet stitch in this pattern is referred to SC or BLO means to crochet in the back loops only. So I love to see that when people put that for reference. And okay, so materials. Materials. I don't see any materials unless if I'm missing something, but I always have suggestions. It's what we're here for. <laughs> That's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use some uh, DK or light worsted weight yarns, um, uh, green, brown, and tan color uh, yarn. And then I am going to use, let's see. And then I'm going to use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I know that normally it's always recommended to use like a 4 or 5, but when using this for amigurumi, or when making any sort of amigurumi or friends, <laughs> I like to do a, I, I like to size down so then you have tighter stitches. So, <laughs> sorry, I thought I could do a thing. No. <laughs> okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is the one that we will be using. And let me show you what else we're going to use. We're going to be using um, rainbow cotton 88 in green and then darker brown. And then the tan is from I Love This Cotton. They're very similar in width. So that's why I am going to use them together. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle, and then some handy dandy scissors. We will be using some eyes that we will attach, and uh, I will find out which ones that I want to use when the time comes. And let's get started. So I love that Hobie and even a lot of different yarn companies actually will have their center pull of the yarn already ready for you to use. It's absolutely fantastic instead of having to <laughs> find it yourself. <laughs> so to do a magic circle, I'm going to yarn over and chain two. And then to create even tighter, more secure stitches, I'm going to use the yarn under method when doing my single crochets. So we're gonna do our magic magic ring or magic circle with the yarn under method. Continue on into the second round. 
into increasing single crochets all the way around. And that will give you 12 stitches. Round three is just, let's see, single crochet and then increasing single crochet. So essentially we're going to be increasing our rounds. We're, we're gonna make our circle bigger <laughs> until, let's see, until we have a total of count your stitches after each round, after each row. When I watch TV, I get grossly immersed, depending on more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> and then I forget how to count all together. <laughs> so yeah, just make sure to count after each round. Make life simpler. <laughs> This is what the circle looks like thus far. Pretty circle. <laughs> and uh, now we're going to just do several rounds of single crochets, uh, starting to create that three-dimensional shape. Okay, so now we've completed our 17th round for our head. So now we can see kind of just how big our head's going to be. <laughs> and so now we're gonna do a bunch of decreases to finish off or to round off our head. <laughs> okay. I've got. Oh, also, I've picked out some eyes. They are 15 millimeter. I think they're going to be a good size. Let's see what happens. We're going to start off with six single crochets. Three, four, five, six, and then decrease repeat this five more times until you have a total of 42 stitches before I go any further and decrease the head any further I'm actually going to attach the eyes and start stuffing so it'll just make my life a whole lot easier and I want to do big eyes because I always think that's very adorable <laughs> oh, it's bursting forth can we do it it's bursting forth can we do it mm. oh my god it's so big that's what she said So, I put my eyes in the turtle, and I put them a little closer than I really anticipated, um, but um, it's way too tight and my hands are too weak to pull them out, but it's okay. My, my husband assured me that it still looks really cute, and he's just a goopy derpy turtle. He just could be really, really cute derpy turtle. So. <laughs> we will we will press on <laughs> and now it's time to stuff so now we're back to decreasing our rounds and continue to stuff as you go okay so this row we're gonna do 
four single crochets. Followed by a decrease. We'll keep decreasing for another uh, two rows after this. So you'll have 30 stitches, 24 stitches, and then 18. Okay, so we have finished our little head here for the Derby Turtle. <laughs> it's very cute. Um, so now it doesn't really say uh, whether to finish off or um, cut off a long tail for sewing. I'm assuming that that is what we're going to do. Let me just double check the, the pattern real quick. If there are assembly directions toward the end. No. Okay, so here's my suggestion. And if there are, I apologize. <laughs> Um, so I always suggest, since we're going to eventually have to sew this on anyway, I'm assuming, um, that I would finish this off, um, with a slip stitch, skip the first stitch, and then do a slip stitch into the second stitch, get our scissors out. Snippy snip, a long tail, and that is what we will use to sew on the head. Well, it says to sew on the smile, so I'm going to take some, I'm actually going to get some black yarn and sew on the smile. Simple enough, and then after that is going to be the brown shell. So now it's time to shell out some more yarn. <laughs> oh goodness, okay. So we're going to make another magic ring or magic circle by chaining two and doing six single crochets into the first chain. In the next round, we're going to do increasing single crochets in each stitch until we have a total of 12 stitches. Oh, also do not forget your very valuable stitch marker. So you're going to keep increasing your circle until you have a total of 54 stitches. We just completed nine rounds for the shell. So it is a total of 54 stitches. And now I'm going to do a single crochet row, still just 54 stitches. And then uh, we're going to make it even bigger to where it has 60 stitches. So I just completed the 11th round of the shell, and then now I'm going to do six rows of single crochets. Now it is time for our color change. Okay, I'm gonna take out my stitch marker. I'm gonna act like I'm doing the last single crochet by putting my crochet hook through the last stitch, pulling through my brown yarn. Then I am going to go ahead and 
attach the tan yarn to my hook and pull through completing the single crochet. And now we are ready for row 18 where we're actually going to work in the back loops only. And we're going to do a full round of single crochet You should have 60 stitches total. Okay, so I just finished my last back loop only single crochet stitch. And now it says to not cut the brown yarn and to bring it to the outside. So I'm going to bring it to the outside. This is fine. I, I should have done that before, but I think this is still fine. Now we're going to go back to crocheting through both loops and we're going to do eight single crochets followed by a decreasing single crochet. So make sure that as you're decreasing your rounds that you count each stitch. So I just completed round 19 which means I should have 54 stitches. Now we're going to be decreasing until we have six stitches left and then close the loop. Okay, now I have six stitches left in my circle. Now I'm actually going to cut off a semi long tail, but not really, uh, just a few inches in order to close my little circle here. So don't pull through this loop yet. I will show you how I close my loop. So I just pull it a little bit, okay. With my embroidery needle. I'm gonna skip this first stitch, go into the second stitch, and sew through that one to the next stitch, and sew through the opposite way. And then I thread through my little loop here and uh, I pull tightly. That closes the hole. And then next I'm just going to sew through the hole and pull through. And now we've completed the bottom of the shell. We're going to go back to the brown yarn that we left before and crochet 60 single crochets all the way around. So let's do that. We're going to do that in these, these loops that we left behind. <laughs> <laughs> Yarn chicken! Hell yeah. I won. I won that round. <laughs> we finished the shell. <laughs> it's so cute. And, uh... <laughs> I'm so excited. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm, I'm already, I'm already stoked. I'm already stoked for it. <laughs> You'll be so cute. <laughs> Let me jerk a turtle. <laughs> and then now we're actually going to do the little flippers. The, we're going to do the arms first. <laughs> the 
So we're gonna make a circle. We're gonna do it for seven rounds and then fold it in half and then do a single crochet for a seam. It's simple, but it looks so adorable. I'm so glad I decided to do this. <laughs> so just like before, we're going to do a magic round or magic circle by chaining two and then doing six single crochets into the first chain. Continue to make your circle bigger until you have 42 stitches all the way around. All right, we've got our circle for our little front flipper. And now it's time to fold the flipper like a taco. <laughs> and make sure that when you fold it, that the beginning of your round is gonna be on the edge. Because if you do it like this, You'll awkwardly be starting in the middle, and uh, how on earth are you gonna get to the other side? So, make life easy. Start your taco over here. And now we're going to cr single crochet all the way across. And there's our first front flipper. I'm actually going to Cut off a long tail for sewing. I would suggest doing the same. So I did the front flippers, <laughs> the sea turtle flippers. They're so cute. Like, <laughs> swimming. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so I've done that and they look really cute. Now we're gonna do the back flippers which looks like we're only going to be doing five rounds instead of seven rounds because they're smaller so <laughs> uh, we're only gonna increase it until we have let's see 30 stitches all together in our little circle and then we're gonna fold it in half like a taco again Okay, so our turtles coming together. I'm so excited. Now it is time to take your embroidery needle. Um, once I find mine, I will start to sew the head to the body and then we're going to sew on the arm flippers and then the leg flippers. So here I'm just taking my brown yarn and choosing to cover up a little bit of the green yarn that's right here. And then, you know, you're none the wiser. I present to you the sea turtle. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god. I 
Okay. Can you be my shoulder buddy? <laughs> He's a little forward heavy because of his heavy head, I think. Yeah. He's got a little heavy head. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun making this pattern. Um, other than a few, you know, minor details, I believe that this pattern is really, really uh, cute and um, I think that it's beginner friendly. If you want to make one that is about this size, I would recommend using DK or light worsted yarn. Um, or even you can use a uh, four weight yarn with a 3.5 millimeter hook so that you can have a really good stitch definition. So thank you guys so much for joining me today in crocheting a really cute sea turtle with me. If you really liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you really loved my yarny shenanigans when making the sea turtle, Go ahead and subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye!